The reason why your fabric shifts when you sew is because of how your sewing machine moves the fabric under the needle. You can see in this demonstration without thread that the feed dog moves on the bottom to move the fabric, but the press of foot is simply holding the fabric down as the needle moves. The feed dog is this metal teeth-like ridges. When you have two or more layers of fabric, the feed dog only grips the bottom fabric and upper layers move along with the bottom layer, but meanwhile the press of foot is adding the pressure downward to make them stay in place. As a result, the bottom fabric is always moving slightly faster than the upper fabric. So that is why two layers of fabric shift when you sew. And it gets more apparent the longer you sew. The shifting is worse with longer seams. Also, you get more shifting with slippery fabric. To prevent this shifting of fabric, you can use an attachment called walking foot. This is kind of like an extra feed dog for the upper fabric, and it helps to feed the fabric more evenly. But you can feed the fabric more evenly without a walking foot, if you keep in mind why shifting happens and manipulate the fabric to counteract the shifting mechanism. I cut these fabric strips in the same length. If you let the machine feed the fabric automatically, you get this uneven result. Hold both of the layers tightly at the end and bend it like this so the two layers don't shift around. I'm going to do this with opposite hands so you can see it. Once you have enough fabric to hold onto behind the needle, hold the fabric and slightly pull away from you and with the other hand, Slightly pull in the opposite direction, so the fabric between your hands is kept taut under the needle. If your seam is curved or difficult to apply this method for other reasons, you can baste the seam by hand before you machine stitch. I like to use this Japanese basting thread because it's easy to take out even if you sew over it with your machine. You can use a bunch of pins to keep the two layers together, but make sure to take out the pins before you go over it with the machine needle or wear a safety goggle so the broken needle won't fly into your eyeballs. <laughs> 